Now we will discuss how to accept comma separated characters. So we have the input like this: five comma, then five characters will be there. So a x b e z are the characters. Here it is three, which means three characters will be there. So three comma m comma c comma a. So how to accept them as input values in C? First, we will accept the integer value. Let's say it is n. So we are using scanf and we will accept the integer value. So now we have to iterate n times. So we will have a loop for that. For int, let's say we are going to store it as index in a string. So we will say index less than index plus plus. But we have not yet formed the string. Okay, so we will declare a string char str. What is the size of the string? Let's say it is going to contain n characters. So we will say str of n. In this string, if there are five characters, they will be stored from zero till four because the index starts from zero. If it is n, it will go till n minus one. That is why we say less than n here. So now we have to accept the character. So we will say percentage c and where it should be stored it should be stored in str of index right here it is not a string it is a character so you have to give address of operator if you are not giving address of operator then you can simply give give it like str plus index like this also you can give because str is the base address in that you increment index times so the first character will be stored at str plus zero, but if you are saying str square bracket index, which means it is dereferencing, in that case you have to give the address of operator. Okay. Now we have given this, but there is a comma before each character. So before a there is a comma, before x there is a comma, before b there is a comma, and so on. So you have to give a comma here, which means you are saying. Accept the character after the comma. So for index 0, the comma will be read and neglected, that is discarded, and then a will be read. When index is equal to 1, this comma will be discarded and x will be read in that particular index. Then when b is coming, this particular comma will be discarded and b will be read, and so on. Okay. So now let us print the characters in the reverse order. Okay. So index is equal to n minus 1 index greater than or equal to 0 because we are going in the reverse order index minus minus. So I am going to just print the character over there. So print of percentage C str of index. Okay. So here I am not giving ampersand because I am just saying str of index. But if you give it like this that is the square bracket is dereferencing operator. Okay. So in that case, you have to give address of operator. So now let us give this value as input. Let me comment this out. So I'm giving phi a x b e z. So it will print in the reverse order. Z e b x a. Okay. So if I'm giving 3 m c a as the input, it will print a c m in the reverse order. So you can accept the comma separated characters like this. You can do this for integers also. Okay. So based on the discussion, please try this program and thanks for watching.